Hey YouTube fans, this is JJ Potion here bringing you a quick little uh, commentary about some of the things that are going to be appearing in the new Infinity Ward game, Modern Warfare 3. In the background here, you just got a quick gameplay of Acadia Sparta running around capping and getting lots of points and then I'm, I'm also playing with him in a party and I end up getting a nuke in the end. So it was a pretty good game plan. I figured I'd have this in the background while I'm talking about it. Uh, some of the things that they said that they were going to be bringing back into the new Modern Warfare 3 game are they're trying to incorporate it to be more like COD 4 where it was more gun on gun based action instead of the whole let's uh, let's uh, let someone sit back and use a chopper gunner and dominate the game you know so they said they were going to venture more to that that tactic <laughs> this part's pretty funny this guy doesn't see him anyway they said that they were going to venture back to that that type of gameplay and incorporate less less obnoxious kill streaks and have they also aren't gonna incorporate the nuke back into the game which I kinda don't like because I really enjoy the nuke it was one of the more satisfying kill streaks to receive and uh, some other things that they said that they were gonna be doing is there's possibly gonna be dedicated servers they were determining whether they were gonna do that or not at this point they're unsure uh, there's been like spectacles saying that they're gonna be having dedicated servers and stuff and it's just on un it's undecided at this point they also said that they were gonna be people are saying oh there's gonna be a beta and like they have running these websites saying yeah we can you can download the beta don't download it it's all just a bunch of crap it they're basically trying to give you hacks because Robert Bowling who is the creative strategist at Infinity Ward actually tweeted a message saying that they were not going to be coming out with a beta for Modern Warfare 3 so if you see anything like that it's all just a bunch of bull crap. Some of uh, the other things that they said they were going to be incorporating uh, there was actually leaked photos of some of the guns that were supposed to be appearing in the game at this point I mean they, they all look pretty legit to me they it's basically just an oriented gun in a backdrop of there's like an ump on there and a scar and some other things on Kotoku's website it actually says that there's like a scar light and a scar heavy so there's like a an assault rifle version and a light machine gun version and they so they're supposed to be incorporating a whole bunch of new guns there was a big list there are noob tubes coming back they had something on there that looks like similar to a thumper which is kind of stupid but uh, they they are eliminating like the danger close and one man army type perks that are really stupid. I hope to God they don't bring back death streaks. Um, those are the stupidest thing ever. Like why would you reward a player for doing bad? I mean I've seen clips of people getting you know four hit markers on someone with painkiller or, or shooting an RPG direct impact to them with with uh, painkiller and it not kill them. So just stupid stuff like that. In case you guys are unaware, the three developers that are going to be working on it are Infinity Ward, obviously, and uh, there's going to be Sledgehammer Games, and Raven Studios is working solely on the multiplayer online portion of it. Uh, there's actually going to be an event coming up soon. Uh, I forget when. I think it's September 2nd or so, somewhere in there, uh, called Call of Duty XP. And what it is, it's going to be the actual official release of the online multiplayer gameplay and stuff. And uh, they're going to have like a life-size recreation of Scrapyard. And they're going to have like paintball going on in it and stuff. It looks really, really cool. I, I would love to go there, but it's in San Diego, so not going to happen. Um, some of the... Th oh, there was just this, just this past week, there was a picture of a possible hardened edition of the video game. Like a picture of someone holding it in their hand. It was a box. It was posted by Robert Bowling on his Twitter account. So look forward to being able to buy or pre-order your Prestige or Hardened Edition possibly around the same time that Call of Duty XP event goes on. I know for a fact I'm going to be getting the Hardened Edition Prestige maybe if it is decent. I mean if, it, if they give us some toy crap like they tried giving us with Black Ops, I'm not even going to bother with it. But... The MW2 one was actually pretty cool. They gave you those uh, military grade night vision goggles, which is really cool. Um, there was also info released just this past week, week and a half ago now, about um, Turtle Beach 
is actually making a Modern Warfare 3 headset now. They're going to have uh, a several different lines of their headset. Um, one of them is going to be right in the range of $250, which will be the top of the line one. It'll be uh, like 7.1 Dolby Digital Surround, and then they're going to have a, a baseline one, which will be, you know, like 60 bucks. It'll be wired and everything. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Those are supposed to be releasing uh, sometime in October, which sounds really good. I mean, I'm, I got the Turtle Beach PX21. That's actually what I'm using to do this commentary. It's a really nice headset and everything, and uh, I'm just, I kind of want to buy a new one. I i like the Turtle Beach, you can, it makes you hear everything perfect. I just want a wireless version of it. It actually sounds like it's going to be really good. It looks pretty cool. That's all they did is they, it's the same headset as what it looks like, but they incorporated the MW3 logo onto it, and it's gray, and it looks all fancy dancy. So they're doing that, and there was also some... Uh, controversy over this website that was called uh, Modern Warfare 3, ironically. And basically what this website was doing was bagging on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. They, they had all this hate messages and stuff of all people that are like Battlefield 3 fans and everything. Everyone's saying how Battlefield 3 is going to be so much better. In my honest opinion, I think they're going to both be good games. It's just they're going to they're gonna be unique, you know. Everyone, people buy MW3. I don't care what anyone says. People are still going to buy MW3 whether or not Battlefield 3 is better. So basically what this website was doing was they were bagging on, the, on MW3 and they, they were posting up links that led you to the Battlefield 3 channel. And what uh, Infinity Ward has done at this point, or Activision, I'm sorry, has done at this point is they're... They had a lawsuit against this uh, this website because they were misleading people, I guess is what you would want to say. And at this point, they're trying to gain rights over this business or this website. So they're still battling that in court, I believe, all the way up until this moment. I'm not sure what the whole deal is going on with it, but it is something that is new and out there. Um, some features that they were looking forward to bringing into MW3 is there's going to be a survival mode. Which is, it's supposed to be, you know, like similar to the whole zombies thing. You gotta make it through progressive waves of enemies and stuff. And it gets more difficult and more difficult as you go along. But the difference is, you're, it's not gonna be zombies, you know. It's not just gonna be people that can walk up to you and swat you. It's gonna be actual enemies like computer people. Something that you would like see in a theater mode. I'm guessing they're gonna put like juggernauts and stuff in it. Like from, similar to what was in MW2. There's going to be these juggernauts and stuff, and it's just going to be, like, these people running out, shooting at you. So you're actually going to get, like, cooperative people that are playing with you, not just, like, retarded zombies coming at you. So I, I think that is going to be a blast. I can't wait till I uh, get to play that. Uh, some other things that they were talking about was that they were actually updating the engine from MW2 and reusing it. So I heard that it was going to be... Actually, Robert Bowling said that they pretty much spruced up the old version from MW2 and incorporated some new things that were wrong with the old one. Uh, they Another thing that I heard about was they, they hired this company called Map Monkeys. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but they're, they're like a big-time glitching community type website thing. And they, they that's all they do. They're professionals at what they do. You know, they go around and they try and find glitches in maps and stuff and then they post videos of it and like tutorials and teaching how people how to do it so what infinity ward or activision is doing is they're hiring map monkeys to come in and basically they're giving them a week hands-on with the video game at at their studio and saying okay you have a week do what you can do try and find as many of the glitches as you can and and have a good time you know like so they're trying to eliminate what happened when Black Ops came out. Because when Black Ops came out, that's all they did was they made it strictly for Xbox 360. And then when they launched it for PS3 and PC and stuff, it was just, it was terrible. The launching process for that game was just atrocious. So that's how that, that's going to go. And uh, I'm, some things that I'm looking forward to seeing in this game is a color wheel. Give us a color wheel, something real simple. And let us customize our characters and gun camos and stuff like that. Um, I'm running out of time here, guys. Uh, if you guys have any 
any uh, thoughts or anything, just leave it in a comment, and then uh, I'll uh, I'll possibly do a commentary on it. Send me a nice detailed message or something. Uh, thanks, thanks, YouTube fans. Uh, have a nice day, and I hope you enjoyed this commentary.